guess what? I found a raccoon tail, so let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully. I think I know what to do now. Sort of. I haven't actually tested it out, but there's a cliff type thingy up here. Yep. So I figured we're supposed to fly up here and there'll be something. Oh, time's running out too. It's different up here at least. Give me that. That pipe is useless. Ouch. Stupid fire thingy. Um... End of the level maybe? Yep. Hey boom boom. Let's kill you. Yep. Come back down here. You jerk. There we go. You're dead. Excellent. We can finally end that level. Now we get to see whatever is in this thingy. What do you got here? Thanks. Really. Oh well, let's go to the fortress. Whoa. You know what? I'm not taking that hit. I want to keep this at least for a second. Hey, Thwompy. Ah. I thought it would be a trap down here, but looks like there is a floor. Looks like that. Raccoon tail is actually helping. I see you, boo. You can't fool me. Whoa. You can almost make me fall off the edge to my death, though. Okay, maybe you can make me fall off the edge to my death. And why are there Tetris blocks? I know what those are. You and your frickin'. Wait. What is this? It looks like death, so I'm not gonna go there. We're going backwards with a different palette, it looks like. Wait, this wasn't here before. I'll take that. I at least think this is... Wait, no. Yeah, this is looking like the exact same thing, but... The palette is different, so maybe it's a different area. Ouch. Whoa. Hey, no biggie. Wait. Oh, that's mean. It swapped my raccoon leaf for a mushroom. Um, I guess we go up that pipe. Oh, maybe this is the same area but upside down or something? Because that pipe was on the bottom before. Oh, there are those turtle dudes. Come on, get down here. So I can kill you! Ouch. Double kill! Yeah, that's a trick they use a lot in Mario Bros. 3 hacks. They use multiple of that mini boss dude. I've seen four of them. I'm not sure what the maximum is. I guess it's probably four since that's the most I've seen. I don't know why, but the airship level doesn't look like an airship, it just looks like a normal level in this game. I guess it sort of leaves you guessing as to where the end of the world is, but you can usually tell, because it's always a dead end. And I don't think there are dead ends otherwise. And how are you supposed to get that flower? Oh well. Oh, maybe if it's a mushroom you can get it because they slide. Come on, we don't got all day. 
Oh, that's a floor. For a second there, I thought there was a pit, and I was like, how do I do this? Ah, there we go. Come on. Auto-scrolling levels always just seem a little bit too slow to be... They just get boring, but... I've seen that if you speed them up just a little bit, they seem... Like, instantly too, too fast and too hard, so... There doesn't seem to be a very good balance. But I don't know. I mean, in some retail games, there seem to be auto-scrolling things that are okay, but... Whoa. Mario just tends to have slower auto-scrolling, though, because it's not supposed to be that hard. It's just supposed to be a game. I keep... Oop. I keep forgetting there's not... You don't go straight to the boss, you... What the heck? You do an inside portion, which isn't like the real game, but... Oh, there we go. Why is that one a different color? Oh, I guess because of the sconces. I guess if you change the palette of a tile, everything will be that different palette in this game. It's probably an NES thing, not just the fault of this game, though. Ooh! 100 coins. Uh-oh. Crap. Oh, I can't run all the way back here. There we go. Oop. Run out of time. Here we go with the frickin' hidden coin blocks. Oop, we're out. Here we go yet. Not to death, just out of here. There we go. It's uh, Koopa number two, whatever his name is. Should probably use that mushroom, shouldn't I? You're dead. Let's go to the castle that magically appears when we finish these levels. I definitely missed that fast forward. I probably shouldn't use it though. It is sort of annoying, but I'm very impatient. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the deal is with the keys. There's probably a secret world or something. I guess there's a count of the keys. Fire spitting boo. Okay. There are keys in the bottom of the little bar there with the name and everything. I don't know what you would call that. I guess it's just the heads up display. It's a generic term for it. The interface. And I see you, hidden muncher. You can't trick me. Sludge bros can trick me though. You know what? Whoop. Yeah, I don't have anything to finish that sentence with. It's just, you know what? Who we got a flower. And I keep forgetting to use those items. I always do that. I end up collecting a ton of items and don't. I don't even know what this does. Did that give me more coins? I probably should have checked. Yeah, I have no idea what half of this stuff does. Because it's not the stuff that was in the original game. And you know, in the original game, I never actually even got the Tanuki suit or the Hammer Bros suit. Because I, of course, did not know the secret areas with them. Uh oh. Was I supposed to go in the water? Oh, I guess I can go on, maybe? Come on, hurry it up. We ain't got all day. 
fire flower. Give me. I assume those buzz saws are death. And we're back to what I said about the auto scrolling. It's a little bit too slow. But I guess they have to be a little slow because otherwise, if you turned around, you like couldn't catch up with the scrolling, and you're dead. We'll call that a video. Thanks for watching.